Good morning. It is Wednesday, September 16th, and this is the day that the Lord has made, and I'm choosing to rejoice and be glad in it, and I trust that you are too. I trust that you've had a great day thus far. We're halfway through the week, um, and I know that you've seen the face of God, and I know you've been making sounds, and I know that you have ministered to someone else and been a blessing to someone else because we're on the journey together, and that's what we're all doing together, holding each other up in the faith. And so I appreciate you doing that for me and for others and for you. And I look forward to hearing how God has blessed you thus far throughout the course of this week. I'm going to pick up uh, the series that we've been doing, the nine sins that the church is okay with. We are on number six, and number six is comfort. Um, such a very interesting one, but such a very deadly one. I, I promise you, if I hear one more time, well, that's what we've always done. I don't know what I'm going to do. I feel like our need and our um, disdain for change is going to kill us. Life is change. Future is change. Uh, mission is change. Uh, reaching souls requires us to change and to get out of our comfort zone. But as Christians, oftentimes we get so comfortable that we forget that it can be deadly. Uh, the writer of this particular article says comfort might be the patriarch of the church approved sins. When the church becomes comfortable, Christianity starts to die. Christians must be extremely intentional with their thoughts and actions to avoid comfort. If not, you become resistant to change. So in other words, if you're not waking up with an intentional plan to give God praise, you become comfortable with doing your normal routine. If you're not waking up with an intentional plan to make someone smile today, you become comfortable with your routine. And your routine normally doesn't get much done. It does a lot for you because you're comfortable with it. But we know this journey is not about us. Because the writer says, you begin to see the mission as catering to insiders rather than reaching outsiders. Comfort makes you cater to yourself. Comfort makes you cater to church people. And it makes you forget what the mission is, what the goal is, and that's to get outside and do what we've been called to do and make sure we're living our lives as a testimony, as an example. And one that not makes us, that not only makes us comfortable, but one that makes us spread the word of God. And we know that the example of God through his son, Jesus on earth was not a comfortable one. So therefore, if we're striving to live that life, we cannot be caught up in being comfort, comfortable. The writer says, here's the thing about the sin of comfort. Once it shows up, it's extremely difficult to remove. Think about your life and your routine, what you do on a regular basis. You get up, you may have your morning prayer, you may have your morning cup of coffee, you take your shower, you get dressed, and you move forward. But in the middle of all of that, you have you notice that nothing's really changing in your life. Nothing's getting better. Nothing's getting stronger because you've been doing the same thing for 365 days, you don't come out of that comfort zone. It's what we find for those of us, uh, those of us that work out. If you don't mix up your workout routine, if you don't change some of the things you're doing, you be you stabilize. That's what's happening in the Christian faith. We're getting so comfortable that we stabilize. We're okay because we haven't flatlined. So we think we're fine because we, we haven't flatlined. But what we have done is not evoke any types of spark. We've, we've lost out on the spark because we've gotten so caught up in comfort. The church cannot be missional and comfortable at the same time. We have to make a decision. Which one are we going to choose? So I want you to think about that today, just in your life, because this might just start with you changing small things in your life. I do believe that overall, as a church, we are going to have to get out of our comfort zone and stop being so comfortable with what makes um, the seniors happy. And this is what makes the youth happy and understand what makes a community come to God. But I think it's going to start with you recognizing what are some things that I'm comfortable with that if I change just a little bit would enhance my life and would make let God know that I'm choosing him.
each and every day. Start there. Start taking it. Start making it personal and think about it. I'm going to do that. Um, I encourage you to do that and to think about the dangers of comfort and being in your comfort zone. I love you and I'm praying for you today. And I trust that God's going to go before you and you're going to follow in the footsteps that he's put ahead of you. And you're going to do that with clear minds, sincere hearts, and obedient footsteps. Go in love.